Uh, we were out with the uh, Swedish army. They brought out their archer artillery system. Pretty interesting. It's uh, self-propelled, auto-loading. Very, very cool considering what we've been using recently in our unit, the uh, original 777s. The demonstration shows the, the system's uh, high mobility. The possibility that we have with the, the gun to stay in the shelter, to uh, minimize the risk to get detected from the air especially. We don't have to stand in the open field. We can have a, a low readiness and then a high mobility uh, enables us to, when we get the fire mission, we can go into action. It takes us only 25 seconds, then we can fire four or six rounds or whatever the fire mission says. And then the redeploy takes us another 25 seconds and then be on the way to another firing position at least 500, 700 meters away. All that in total takes us about two and a half minutes. Well, it took quite a bit considering they came all the way from Sweden and then they had to come in through port, drove here from Arizona, did a training exercise out there. So a lot really happened, make this all happen so that we could all have a good time out here. In general, it's, it's always a pleasure to cooperate with, with other nations. And it's great for us to be in the U.S. Exercises like Bold Quest. Many nations, we have the possibility to look at each other's gears, pros and cons that we can, so we can also develop, for example, our forward observer's gear or, and guns and, and battle management systems. So all in all, the entire chain of joint fires. So it's a great exercise.